What's going on guys and welcome back to the most spectacular read through of all times. I am the big cliche. I am big uh, Papa Pump without the pump. I am the rock uh, that is never hard. King Kong got a lot on me. I am T B R Terabyte Reacts and I would just like to say you're welcome. Welcome back guys to another episode of Ippo Manga Read Through. We are here oh, shit. once again, here man, again. to indulge in one of the best mangas that has ever been written. One of the best animes that has ever been done in the history of anime. And today we're going to be starting with chapter 578. And we are rolling, we are rolling. Last time I didn't get to do enough chapters. But today, I'm going to do as much as I possibly can. Hopefully I can knock out 10 or more. That's what I'm aiming for. Hopefully, uh, I'm trying to be loosey-goosey. Not get into uncomfortable. Because the thing about me doing um, read-throughs is that I got to sit up. Really, like, sit up to do it. And sometimes... You know, I mean, I get a little bit uncomfortable because this chair is not exactly the most comfortable in the world. I actually do need to get a new chair. Um, and also my throat. So if my throat starts to hurt or anything like that, because, you know, as I've told you guys before, talking is what I do for a living. So it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Adding on top of that with doing read throughs is a bit it's a bit much sometimes. But I do try to get through as many chapters as I can before that takes place now, i got some lubrication for the throat so i don't know why i chose soda <laughs> today i don't know i guess i just felt like something having something really even though soda is not something i really drink but just felt like having it today but anyways let's jump into it ippo is preparing for a fight and he's knocking logs into into the mountain into the into the hillside you know what i'm saying same thing that kamagawa used to do but he wasn't kamagawa he wasn't using any protection but ippo was actually using a he's using a hammer which can give you the same effect you know what i'm saying like it could give him the same effect you know what i'm saying but he could also still damage his, his arm by doing that but at the same time we know that Ippo is determined to do stuff. It, it, it's just so, it's it's wonderful to know that he's coming up with ideas on his own that kind of reflects things that Kamagawa would do or Takamura would do. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the kind of person that Ippo is. Like, he thinks, you know, great minds think alike, if you want to say that. So, I'm looking forward to this. Let's jump right into it, man, and see what this is all about. Let's go get it. Switch. Okay. All right, let's do this, man. You already know 30 minute breaks. And then we go to the next part. Okay, so all right. So we got Ippo getting into training. This one is hold on. Yeah, we're starting at 579, not 578. 578 is where we ended on the last one. So this is 579. Okay, so come on. Yes, sir. As Ippo uh, ooh. Um, okay, so they're going at it in the ring, sparring. Okay, he's getting in there. So, somebody notices Kimura says, Makanouchi's punches look as painful as ever. How can Kamagawa san hang on to those mitts? Pity you don't know how much his hands are actually hurting him because he's actually really shaken up by this. Because remember. In the last read through I did in one of the chapters, he went to to wash his hands and his hands were shaking really heavily. And they were like, you know what I'm saying? Like he he he's doing it because he has to do it for him. You know what I'm saying? Because there's nobody else that can really do it 
for him. Yeah, he has to train him. He's a trainer. So, so it's like, all right, we're done. That's it until the way in tomorrow. Now, finish up with some stretches for me. Yes, sir. So, Ippo goes to stretch. Your rhythm looked good. Thanks. There's really nothing else for you to do. Say, so, yep, all that's left to do is to do my best in the fight. Do your best, huh? Yeah. Can't you give us a more confident statement? Uh, are these gym members or the press? I don't know. I guess it's the press that um, that's there with him. So it's like, <clears throat> you defended your title five times and won by KO on each occasion. As members of the media, we'd like you to spice it up a bit. Say, I'll definitely beat him. Or he's going down in round one. In round one. But that's not, but really and truly, that's not Ippo. Ippo doesn't say those things. <laughs> so you can't expect him to be like that. He's, he's, he's asserted himself in front of his peers, but he's never like, the, the one time he asserted himself was when he was going to, when he, um, when he was going up against Sendo. That was, I think that was the only time that he did something in public that was like something for them to really write about. So they know and they're like, come on. Um, Karasawa's gonna be a pushover. I don't think so. I don't think Karasawa is gonna be a pushover because he's he's preparing just as much as Ippo is preparing. So you got spectators are only interested in one thing: what round will the champion beat him in? Is that like, okay? So it's a given you're gonna win. Come on, leave us with at least one flashy comment. <laughs> Kamagawa comes out. He says, If you want a statement, you can have one after the match. We're done for today, so break it up and scram. <laughs> Good luck in your match. It's like, hmm, what a bunch of idiots. Thanks, coach. Don't let him confuse you. Your opponent's polishing up his two fists. If you let up, you'll be the one who gets eaten alive out there. Ippo says, yes, sir. Ippo is walking home. He's like, I don't plan on letting up. But I don't think that it's a, it's a sure thing either. I covered my bases for this match. But still, I feel like he's not focused. This is back at the gym. Kamagawa is talking. He's, like, He's not focused. The kid's face didn't look so good. Was it because of something the reporter said to him? Normally, this sort of thing doesn't distract him. But in any case, his face said he was still missing something. But this was a match he hacks for. That's true. There's nothing that he's neglecting neglected to do. When he comes face to face with Karasawa at the weigh-in, do you suppose he'll still try to hide it? And Kamakawa says, I hope so. He's like, how's your weight? No problem there. Oh, it's the champ. Karasawa is already inside. Ha, huh? excuse me. I'll get ready right away. Now, Ippo is sweating. Why? I don't know. I see. He's really built up his body. <laughs> this man is growing muscles where muscles aren't supposed to be. <laughs> like, yo, check this out, bro. Like, <laughs> yo, these muscles. I've seen these muscles before, but he still it still looks so weird. You know what I'm saying? The way how it's drawn, it just looks like there's just way too much muscle on the side here. You know what I'm saying? So. I see, he's really built up his body, ha, huh? so you know this Karasawa's body as well. Now, not that, but behind him. Who's behind him? Oh yeah, I remember that it's this dude, um, Sanada Kazuki. Alright, Sanada, yeah, no, Sanada was the one that was helping him train and stuff. He was from the same gym as Karasawa-san? That's right, but what's he doing here? He's like, hello there. I haven't seen you since the one time at the university. This time around, I'll be looking after a kuhai of mine. I think fighting with you will be a really good experience for him. A good experience? I don't know. Kamagawa is like, don't buy into that. Trying to get him to lower his guard and create an opening 
you make a good second. <laughs> it's like, second? He's like, well, why I didn't mean to do anything of the sort? Have a good fight. Yes, you intended to do that. I didn't even know he was going to be ringside. I thought he was just, you know, like, just mentoring him. We're starting with the way in now. He's like, yes. So... Ippo starts to take his clothes off. They notice it's like, I see. It's like, I see what? Nobody knows. <laughs> it's like, don't take in too many liquids. Your movements will get heavy. He's like, okay. So this is Sanada talking to Kawasa. <laughs> I cannot pronounce this guy's name. You guys know what I'm talking about. So Sanada-san. What did you think when you saw him? How is Makaruchi's condition? He's like, he's done some really good training. His back seems to have grown a size larger. Physically, he's in perfect shape. That's fine by me. Fighting the champion at his best has more value to it anyway. Seeing him in person has got me all rearing to go. I want to fight with him right now, damn it. At his best? Or is he... In the matches against Shima, Shima, Shimabukuru <laughs> and Sawamura, he was tense in a good way. You could feel his spirit was behind him from even just a quick glance. So you think he's lacking in spirit then? He's got a unique pace of his own, so it's really hard to tell. However, I saw the same expression on his face before I fought him. He was unable to conceal the, the anxiety over his first title defense. He seems to be off his game right now, so take advantage of that. Make the opening hit yours. And then instead of using them to run away, use your footwork to confuse him even further. If you gain the upper hand before Makanouchi couldn't calm himself down, is that I'm glad. It's good to know I have a second that I can rely on. Hmm. So Sanada says, I heard from Sugumi-chan about how you're worried about the coach and the gym. There's no way I can try and not help you. But I'll be very blunt about this. Even when he's distracted, Makanoji-kun is still very strong. If your spirit is strong enough, though, you just might... Uh, so dude replies, I admit that I'm weaker than him. However, when it comes to spirit, I definitely don't lose out. Uh, so Ippo gets up in the morning. We're back at Ippo's place. I didn't sleep too well. I feel kind of spaced out. Shall we go for a walk? Woof, woof. And I don't remember the dog's name. <laughs> so Sanada-san is his second. And he probably knows all of my weaknesses pretty well. I've never had a match quite like this one before. I've done all that I can do. I even kept hitting the logs. But I've never thought it was obvious that I would win. What is this uneasy feeling that I have? The match is tonight, but I've never felt like this before. What is it that I'm still missing? The coach didn't say that anything was wrong, but something's different this time. I've been feeling more and more uneasy huh what's wrong one boat that's the name of the dog yes woof so dog is barking joins the thing oh takamura is back yes takamura is back just in time to watch each ippo fight so that's good that is good okay next chapter let's do this all right chapter 580 before the fight okay so a weekly, <laughs> I came all the way to watch you little boys fight. Takamura son, you're black. You were, you, know that? you were looking kind of down back there. Like just, just because you're weak doesn't mean you should worry about it. <laughs> just go out there and smash him into pieces. Is that ah? That's right. This is it. Hmm. I'll smash him into little pieces. I'll do my best. This is what I was lacking. Okay, so maybe it's because Takamura was missing why he was in down spirits, maybe? Because Takamura's always been there to watch him fight. Takamura is the one who brought him into boxing. So I can understand 
if Takamura was the reason why he was down, his spirit was down and stuff. So everybody's eating. Second is like, oh my, you're so fast. It's like, I'm taking this. Give me a break. You're eating all my side dishes. <laughs> it's like taking, um, what's his name, food. <laughs> it's like, you have a match coming up, don't you? Lose weight, lose weight. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, but I must say, I ate different foods on my trip, but the food here is the best of all. You're so skillful, Takamura-kun. No, no, what's skillful is your cooking, ma'am. I'll take this too. <laughs> it was like, ah, go ahead. Mm, I think it's like, I think you should say something about it. You have a match tonight, you know. What's with this atmosphere? There isn't even a trace of tension. It's like, what's wrong with that? It's just a match of small fry. It's like, it's an important title match. It's like, you're rather rebellious, aren't you? I've had enough of your lack of delicacy. Wait a minute. Itadaki, what are you doing? Do you want to get punched? It was like, now, 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 now. It's like, I'm fine, really. I've done all I can already. I think it's better to relax, right? It's like, well, if you say so, then it's fine. Then Takamura apologizes. I'm sorry. To make up for it, I'll give you this. It's like, what in the world is it? It's a delicacy I found in a sweet shop in Osaka. It's like, is it tasty? You'll be feeling it afterwards for sure. Hmm. It's good. It's sweet and salty with a mature flavor. Really, I'll try one too. It's like, what's wrong with you? It's like, what's wrong? Uh, Someone says, he says, you'll be feeling it afterwards for sure. Hmm. It's like, it's good. It's sweet and salty with a mature flavor. Like, really? I'll try one, too. Like, what's wrong? Won't you eat it? Yeah, since it's a souvenir, after I win the match, I'll eat it as a reward. It's like, has Takamura-san really returned? This is um, Kimura and Aoki comes in. It's like, ah, good morning. Ha. Ah. There he is. Hmm. You were lonely on your trip, so you thought you'd come here and talk for a while? Didn't Ippo... Um, didn't, well, didn't Ippo has to concentrate on his mat, so why don't we go elsewhere? And Takamura's like, I don't want to talk to you guys. It's like, damn, he's sulking. He's holding a grudge because he hung up on him. Because we hung up on him. <laughs> it's like, if you hang around here, you get in Ippo's way. Let's let him focus on his match. It's like, we're free right now. Please tell us all about your trip. It's like, hmm, what shall I do? <laughs> so they're like, we really want to hear about your fight with the army of monkeys and all your fake copper stories. <laughs> like, all right, there's no help in it. Let's go elsewhere. I wouldn't want Ippo be blame, <laughs> blame me if he lost. Like, hmm, what's this? They're like, it's a souvenir Takamura-san brought. It's delicious. Oh, this is quite special. Well... See ya, Ippo. Sorry to have disturbed you, ma'am. And win, Ippo, tonight's title match. So Takamura and Aoki wishes him well. Okay, so Ippo responds, thank you very much. I'll do my best. All the nuisances are gone, huh? Now you'll be able to focus on your match. Manabukun, you called them, didn't you? Sorry to make you worry about me. <laughs> It's like, I want you to fight in your very best condition. It's very important to me that you do. A fighter and a boxer. A fighter and a boxer. Your match with Karasawa is similar to my upcoming match with Kyusuke in many ways. Even though our positions are reversed, I want to know what sort of things a fighter hates and what a boxer can hit to make him crumble. I think it would be a good reference for me. I wonder if it really will. I'm certain of it. Says um, Itadaki. After all, the only reason I was able to dodge 
Itagaki is his name, not Itadaki. It's Itagaki, right? Itagaki. Itagaki. After all, the only reason I was able to dodge Makino's fouls in our match was because I saw your concentration against Saramora earlier. So it's like, this time too, I'll be watching your every move. Ippo responds, yeah, don't watch the embarrassing parts. <laughs> it's like, all right then, hmm? Which part should I watch? What's your strategy? Ippo says, Stra strategy? I only just decided, but I'll smash him to pieces or something like that. <laughs> He's like, just that? Well, but that's just like you, senpai. Hippo is relaxing, of course, thinking about a fight. Just smash him to pieces. That's fine. I'll believe in all I've done so far and go all out tonight. Let's go, Karasawa. Yeah. What is it? So... Sanada and Karasawa is heading to the fight, I'm guessing. All right, this place will come back to life. It will become bright again. Wait for me. I'll come back with the belt around my waist. So, all right, six defense. Okay, so we got the, the poster. Pretty cool stuff. The semifinal seems to be almost over. How long is the intermission going to be? Today has been nothing but decisions. The final will be a KO. Definitely. Makanauchi's opponent is only rank 7. Of course the champ's going to win. The only question is which round it'll end in right. I'm a little worried because I think this is the first time around that people are hyping Ippo up so much. Like hyping him up to win. He'll probably lose this fight. I don't know man. The, the hype. I don't like the hype. That's going on right now. I'm not digging it. <laughs> I'm not liking the, the, the hype at all. So here we are. Who the main event is starting. I've been waiting. Hurry, hurry. Already, but I haven't used the toilet yet. It's like it's starting. Even if they say that, it's because of that souvenir. <laughs> Thank God Ippo didn't eat any of it. <laughs> Like, shit, that bastard took a burrow. I'll kill him. Senpai's match. <laughs> oh, my God. They're all in the toilet. Oh, my God. It's like, those three are late. The match is about to start. And now, tonight's main event. The Japanese featherweight title match is about to begin. Like, all right, let's go. We're taking a belt. First from the blue corner. First from the blue corner. The challenger makes his appearance. With both hands raised high, Karasawa Takuzo steps out. This rookie is the hope of the featherweights. Can the best speed and sharpness in the nation carry him through tonight? <laughs> Can he grab the ultimate glory? In his first challenge. Takuzo. I came to see you get the belt. Win Takuzo. Okay so Takuzo. Takuzo would have been way better. And not a tongue twister. Jeez. It's like amazing. Even though I know this ring. In Karku and all so well. It feels completely different. So this is a title match. Like don't get carried away. This is the best the best it's not fair to the fans if i don't enjoy this atmosphere next from the red corner the champion appears the crowd lets out a huge roar this figure appearing is the japanese featherweight champion makano chippo will his dynamite punch explode again when will the Dempsey roll become an inferno? He swings one powerful arm and then another, shaking his shoulders. The champion slowly approaches the ring. You don't have to watch him. There's still time before the gong. Loosen up your body thoroughly. He'll begin before you know it. You're more knowledgeable than I am, so please check for me. You said something about him being incomplete earlier. Today, right now, right here, is Makanochi complete? All right, ha. Huh. 
He's in the ring. We made it in time. You guys are late. What were you doing? Late, you say? <laughs> you snuck a time bomb into our stomachs, didn't you? He's like, ah, oh, that? He's like, don't give me that. What's Senpai's condition? <laughs> Takabura is like, no, no, I wasn't really looking. <laughs> Pay proper attention, you useless bastard. <laughs> what is Takamura doing? <laughs> Oh no, why would you do that? A thousand years of pain. A thousand years of death? What is it? Oh my god, no, he did not just do that. Ooh, it's like he won't be able to watch the match. He'll be stuck in the toilet for a long time. It's like accompanied by the loud cheers. The champion finally climbs into the red corner. Looking like a boss. Thumbnail worthy. <laughs> Thumbnail worthy right here. Okay. Looking like a boss. Ippo, I like it. So, Karasara, it's unfortunate, but he's perfect. He's like, that's exactly what I want. Now the checks are over. Both fighters return to their respective corners. The mood in Karaku and all becomes heavy and tense. All that's left now is to wait for the gong next chapter 582 okay champion on the attack be sure not to take the opening hit out there watch him from afar this round just focus on dodging for these first three minutes and remember his range and rhythm with your body once you're able to get them down then we can show off your speed in the second half he's quick on his feet forget points focus on shutting down his legs don't worry about big ones. Just take aim at his body. Everything begins with your left. That is what Kamigawa is saying to Ippo right now. So we got, and Ippo responds, right, use my lefts. That's what I'm after. It's like, now then, there's sure to be some hints as to what I should do in my match. Please show them to me, senpai. The Itagaki. Okay, so the sound of the bell goes, is like, there goes the bell. The champion takes a step forward into his sixth title defense. Alright. His sixth title defense. Okay. Wait a second. Why is this cut off? This doesn't even make sense. Hold on a second. I gotta I don't understand why it's cut off though. It shouldn't be. Uh, let me take off the image. Okay, there we go. Alright, so yeah, don't make so... Don't make it... Don't make it so obvious, Karasawa. You're already tense enough as it is with this being your first title match. Don't rush to get the first hit. Dodge and warm your body up before you move in. Like, what you're after, kid? What you're after, huh? Show me, kid. So, I think I... Why is this panel so damn wide? Jesus. It's so wide. <laughs> I hate those wide panels, man, because they get in the middle of everything. Yes, uh, <laughs> okay, so... Be patient. Calm down. Just let your body get used to the ring first. Okay, so that's what... Um, dude is saying to himself, says, uh, but even so, he seems strangely distant. With such short reach, he'll never be able to hit me from over there. His movements looks very slow too. All right, I'll, I'm calm so I can see him clearly. I'm outside of his range still. From here, only my fist will reach. I'm not even, I'm not in any danger right now. So instead of just dodging him, wouldn't it be better to take the initiative and set the pace right from the start? You, I think you should listen to your to your coach, man. It's like a little closer. It's like if I strike out, I'll hit him. I can hit him. I can do this. Just go. What? What is he doing? Oh, is that his heart? Damn, my dude is sweating. Why is he sweating so much? Bro, it's like I'm going for it then. You fool. Don't just rush in. 
Oh, he takes a step forward. He takes a step forward to try and hit Ippo. That's not going to go well. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's going to go well for him. So we have them going at each other. So it's like, well, oh, he closed that gap within an instant. <laughs> you didn't know. Ippo's step in is, is ridiculously fast, okay? Everybody should know this by now how fast his step in is. So I don't understand why this guy is pushing it. And now listen, it's like, can I still connect with this punch in time? Just follow through and no. Oh, bruh. Did he dodge it? He dodged the punch. He dodged it. Oh, you so lucky. You, you so lucky. You got away. <laughs> It's like, that felt like a giant rock just flew past my head. <laughs> That's Makanouchi's left. Oh, you don't want the right, homie. You don't want the right. <laughs> if he'd taken that, he it would have been over. That gave me the chills just now. Says <laughs> the, the um, dude's trainers are freaking out. Sarada over there freaking out. It's like, now the pressure is on. Or maybe dodging. That'll help you to relax. Either way, if you just keep running away, you're dead. That would have been bad. I can't take a hit like that. Ah, uh, the challenger takes his distance and begins to circle the ring. As the champion completely intimidated him with just one punch. Okay, so Ippo is watching this dude. They're watching each other. They're looking at each other. <laughs> the fight continues to the next chapter. Let's get it. Karasar in the palm of his hand. Okay, so Karzai is actually scared. <laughs> Running around the ring. Get in the fight, man. <laughs> Get in the fight. So he out here sweating. It's like so Um I can't remember his I, I swear Karasawa, I just can't remember his name, bro. Like y'all just gonna have to deal with that. So he's just closing the distance bit by bit. But I was thinking the same thing when he flew at me and closed the gap earlier. Damn it, I thought I'd be able to read his movements, but it's a total wash. Ippo keeps going after him, but he keeps dodging. It's like, it's like, no, this is different. It's more frightening than when he suddenly dashed in. Karasawa, don't cave under the pressure. Ah. Uh, I know that Makanochi's a short guy, but he looks damn huge right now. <laughs> Is he close to me or is he far away? My sense of distance is all a blur. It's like Makarochi's stingy with his punches today. But just look at how calm he is. It's not like him to set such a slow rhythm, but it's still really ominous, isn't it? This is all so intense. He's really piling on the pressure with this. A full minute has passed since the match began, but neither fighter has claimed the first blow. There's still two minutes left. What a long first round. <laughs> it's like, don't run away, Karasawa. If you step back now, you'll be on the ropes. I'm fighting the champion, of course. He's going to look huge. I need to do something. I'll never get that belt by just standing here. It's the challenger's left. But the champion ducks and charges in after him. It's like, oh, he's a quick one. What a brilliant hand speed. He can't step in. The champ's being kept at bay. Oh, he seems to have gotten it together now. I had the same idea to contain fighters like Senpai. A high-speed hit and run. That's right. That's right. You've got it. <laughs> the corner, corner is shouting to Karasawa. You know what I'm saying? Just keep on fighting on your own rhythm. You won't get in here so easily. <laughs> Okay, so Ippo, he got Ippo to back up. He isn't stepping back. He's been waiting for me to stop punching. And here he comes now. Woo! All right. I'm getting my hit and run rhythm down. Okay. It's like, ooh, he's really good. His hands and feet are both really fast. Good going, Karasawa. I won't stop till I fully circle him. With my speed, the bastard will never get anywhere near me. like <laughs> so sanada is in the corner now freaking out still 
Like this isn't bo this isn't bothering him at all. He's totally different from the reckless fighter he used to be. Kamagawa is in the corner like, hmm? It's like, through his many battles, he's grown again. And Karasawa says, I won't let you take the pace. This is my range. Like a dead bolt on a door, I've closed you off at this distance. They're like, hey, 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 nice job, Karasawa. And he speeds pretty good. Look, he's still riding his rhythm. Just like we thought. He's good at controlling space. Ippokan can't get into firing range. Kamagawa is like, come on, kid. Okay, so he's keeping the distance, keeping Ippo at a distance. He's like, oh, Makanauchi can't touch him. Good job, Karasawa. You you sure it's your first challenge? Go. Good. I'm calm now. I've got my depth perception back too. This is my rhythm. If I keep this up, he'll start getting impatient. You will never catch me with such little steps. Ha. <laughs> to laugh i have to laugh because all that sh all that shit talking you were doing what is it doing for you now we gonna take a break right here and come back just got trapped in the corner all right we're back <laughs> and he's like why am i in the corner and and sanada knocks the mat and he's like you dance right into the palm of his hand you need to get out of there quick karasawa here comes Ippo <laughs> in your face now. He's like, run away. <laughs> you ain't getting away, bro. You ain't getting away. It's time for you to feel these punches. Mm, look at the p bro. Bro, look at the corner pad, my guy. Look at the corner pad. Oh, it's bent in and stretching the ropes. That's how hard he got hit into the corner. Bruh. And he's like, from below, so he's going for my body. Bring it on. I'm already drilled my abs time and time again. I'll just take this hit and then escape from the corner. You really going to take a punch from Ippo? This nigga stupid. Is this nigga stupid? He's stupid, ain't he? Bruh, no matter the amount of jumping you did on your abs, bro, trust me on this. You can't take Ippo. <laughs> Ippo bent this dude, my guy. Look at him. Now you're looking like a noodle. <laughs> you out here looking like a noodle because you decide to take that punch? Boy, you better stop. We're talking about Makarauchi Ippo right now. Bro! No! Yo! I know that's how you feeling right now. I know that's how you feeling right now. Come on. Mmm. If I went for the right, are you lucky? Because you would have been done. And he's like, what? What? What the hell was that just now? My side. <laughs> My side. <laughs> Is it still there? <laughs> he's like, no. No, it's still there. But it felt like he drilled a hole right through me at that time. It's like, that's some punch he got. Ooh, you still feeling that, bruh. He's like, oh, it was effective. Have his crucial legs been stopped here? It's only 30 seconds left. Endure it and come back to us, Karasawa. Ippo is looking at this dude like, <laughs> this dude is looking at Ippo like, strong. This guy's really strong. Oh, you think? talking about you you are here talking all that crap oh i'm at my range i'll get this i've calmed down even my depth perception is back you never heard of the ippo man experience bro experience let's do it what is this okay we're we're just gonna jump into the next chat what, what are these chapters together or something what the hell okay so we did where are we? We're not there. We're like five. Where are we? 580 something? 
I don't know what's going on, but something weird is going on right now. 584. So we are at 584. Okay. The challenger can't hide the damage. The champion closing in. We, what is that? Will he be caught? Will he get away? 30 seconds left in the round. I hate when they do wide panels because sometimes I don't get it. It's like, so he says, um, and they lower the, um, the zoom too. He's, he's hurting. He's hurting. Just one more punch will end it. Go, go, Makanouchi. Don't let him escape. Chase him down. Finish it, finish it in one blow. Use the Dempsey roll. Yeah, yeah. Mm-mm. He's like, ah, oh, the crowd demands the Dempsey roll. Dempsey, Dempsey, Dempsey. <laughs> like, they're all excited at the prospect of a KO scene. Huh, he's like, this is the worst mood. <clears throat> he's coming, still, 25 seconds left. Stop being slow. Go finish him, Mara Makarauchi. Finish him. Finish him. He's like, this is a... This is a crisis. He'll draw closer slowly and then jump out at him in a flash. Ooh. It's like, there it is. Ooh, good. Beat him. Hang in there. Endure the last 20 seconds. What to do? What to do? It's like, keep close to him. Stick to him. You better hug. <laughs> you better clinch like a mug right now. It's like, oh. It's like, it's a clinch. He grabs the champion in desperation. The champion tries to shake him off. He won't let go. He won't let go. He sticks to him and destroys the champion's range. He really can't hit him from this distance. It's a hold. Referee, hurry up and break them up. Tear them apart. He's like, you think I let go? You think I let my precious title match end in one round? <laughs> But Ippo can generate a lot, a lot of punching power from that distance, though, if he tries. It's like, danger, let go of him, Karaso! Uh, yo, you don't understand. Ippo can generate a lot of power from very close, and that's why clinching doesn't really work against him. We've seen that in previous matches. Yeah. We've seen that in previous matches. This is like... You've got to be kidding. I won't let go. What can he hit me with at this distance? You haven't seen a lot. It doesn't seem like he did a lot of um, research on Ippo. Because even I know that. And I'm reading. <laughs> All of his fights were taped. He's done this before. He's like, jump backwards. Oh, you are so lucky. You are so lucky. He's like, whoa, so close. That was too dangerous. What's with that upper? Mm, did he hit him? He got him? A left. It's more of a straight than a jab. The challenger's head flies backwards. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I feel, I feel sorry for Carlson right now. Time remaining. 15 seconds. Ippo is going for the knockout, bro. He's going in. Chapter 585. Only 15 seconds left. Ippo's focus. After taking that left, the challenger begins to crumble. The champ runs him down. Will he suffer a first round KO? Mm, he's hitting the ropes after that left. Ooh, look at his legs. <laughs> look at his legs. He needs some milk. <laughs> well, he... He hung on. You hanging on to the ropes. He's like, ah, you idiot. I won't let this all end in just one round. Whoa, he's there again. Ippo is in his face, hitting him with everything he got. Boom, he hits him with a right. He's like, even though my guard was up, I was completely overwhelmed. What a left-right combo. Ugh. Bring out the Dempsey now. Yo, whoa, bro, Ippo, Ippo is, what is he do, bro, 
what is going on with Ippo right now? Why is Ippo so serious right now? Yo, this dude is giving me goosebumps. The way how he's moving in the ring, we've never seen Ippo move like this in the ring. How did he get to the side so quickly to hit him with this hook to, to, the, to the rib again? But the dude dodges it. And it sends him flying with the left. He's like... All right, I gotta take this off for good. It's it's annoying me now because there's a lot of wide panels in this fight. It's like the challenger is getting knocked around like a pinball. With the champion's destructive power, a direct hit would end it. So strong! Come on, finish him off now. It's another glitch. <laughs> Yo, this dude is hugging Ippo, bro. He's literally hugging the dude around his neck, and he seems to be toppling him over. That's not good. Bruh, yo, grow some nuts, man. All that talk you were talking and now you're doing, come on, bro. It's like, just survive. Don't worry about anything else for now. Come back in one piece. Even this is supposed to be like, points are supposed to be taken away. You can't trip a fighter. Like, you can't do, what he's doing right now, you can lose, You the referee is supposed to, you're supposed to lose a point for this. He's supposed to lose a point for that. Because he literally just tripped the fighter. Like, you can't do that. It's like, you put all your body weight onto the dude and you both fall over. Could have hurt him, could have hurt his back. He could have let go of you and tried to brace himself, hurt his arm. Like, you, you get what I'm saying? It's like, they fall over on the spot. The referee goes in to break it up. It's like, ah, and there goes the bell. He's managed to make it through the first round. However, his first challenge is turning out to be quite the ordeal. I was like, Karasawa, good job of making it back. He's like, God, God damn it. He's, he's strong. He's really strong. Don't talk. Sit and catch your breath. You did good getting back here. Those were the longest three minutes of my life. It was long time seemed to be moving so slowly that I almost wondered if the clock was broken. However, the one it felt the longest for was Karasawa himself. The rivers of sweat pouring off him till the to tell the whole story and then and then the what and then there's this this is weird and then there's this this bloody mouthpiece there were hardly any clean hits but they still cut the inside of his mouth despite being blocked Karasara was in good condition but after just one round he's already been reduced to this You've turned into a frightening boxer, Makanouchi Ippo. You damn right he is. How was that? Did I take the pace? Are you joking? You're doing great. The pace is yours, without a doubt. Well, I can't really tell. Anyway, Karasara san is fast. I really have to focus. He's like, yes, fast and skilled too. He's a high level outboxer after all. He'll confuse you with his speed, speed if you chase him down too recklessly. If you let your concentration waver, he'll take the pace in a second. Kamagawa giving him some good knowledge there. He's like, got it. Don't stay at his best range. Get to where you can reach him and use your left. Then keep it up with more lefts. No big blows, just the basics. Keep throwing basic punches. Ippo says, yes, sir. Like, you need to regroup, Karasawa. Keep up the hit-and-run strategy. Don't let him near you. Hit and run. But the moment I break off, he's sure to run me down. It must come from his experience. His ability to close in is amazing. So what should I do? He's sure to pin me against the ropes again. When that happens, what do I do? He'll try to finish me off then and there. That's when the Dempsey roll will be coming. A counter? When he tries, I'll beat him with a counter and turn the tables on him. Round two, the challenger looks determined. He bites his lip and readies himself to counterattack. But the hall still calls out for a KO for Makanauchi. Makanauchi, Makanauchi, quit playing. Bring the Dempsey out. Will the champion answer their request? Dempsey, Dempsey. Like, um, <laughs> like, don't mind them. There's a long road ahead. Just get it together for now. All this shouting that is obvious, he's going to win. 
is just going to give Ippo more trouble. Let him concentrate. This, that is very true. I doubt these chairs are even reaching him right now. You can see Ippo Kun is that focused today. Yes, he's super focused today. No doubt about it. He's very focused. So he's been sticking to the basics just like a textbook infighter. And his opponent is a high-level outboxer too, but that's why it's turned out this way. The kid chose to focus on his left for this match. In other words, the basics. It's not all or nothing anymore. He could even be taking himself up to the next level. A left. This is the challenger's range. So fast. Calm down. I'm sure that he'll circle to my right, so I'll cut him off and get in a position to chase him down. No need to rush. I'll just push him into the ropes again. He's like, I'm ready for you whenever you want to bring it. I'm not afraid of your Dempsey roll. Into the ropes. Next chapter. I'll back him into the ropes. Right into the ropes. I have to regroup. I need to start circling him again. I can't let this bastard get too close. A left. And it's a fast one. Did he recover during the break between rounds? The second he finishes punches, punching, his body is gone. His body gone in a flash. Can the champion catch him with such a huge speed disadvantage? It seems like he's even faster than he was in the first round. I've never faced an opponent with this kind of speed before, but still, I've got to catch him. He takes the fixed position in the center of the ring. Does he intend to gradually close the distance again? Why? Why is he moving so slow? Karasawa cranked up his speed. He'll never catch him by just walking in like that. A left. Even faster than before. The challenger is like a rapid fire machine gun. And the champion stands motionless in the center of the ring. He's taking the punches. He moves in decisively. But he's too late. The, chandler, the, ch the challenger is no longer there. That's why you can't just walk in. Just dash in like you always do. Ippo sure is moving slower than usual. Normally he'd push through a barrage of punches like that one. And put himself in harm's way, right? Are you saying that Ippo intends on avoiding being put in danger today even if that were the case you still can't let him run around all day long if you let a fast fighter like this box the way they like they'll just keep on racking up the points and takamura says look closely at the way ippo is moving his feet it's something that will scare the crap out of it outboxers like the two of you and the challenger throws a composed left the champ's on phase, then he presses on, but he can't tear through the distance. He's unable to catch him. Has the challenger taken complete control of the pace? If this continues, will there be any way to defeat him? Keep up with Karasawa's pace? Come on, hit his ass. You haven't even brought out the big guns yet. All right, this is good if you keep this up. Won't you give him some advice? He's helpless against all those punches. Is that what you think? The dude is worried, but Kamagawa is not worried at all. He's like, Karasawa is probably slowly realizing it himself. That the one who's in control of this match is the kid. Look at the way he's moving his feet. What the hell is he talking about? Something that will scare the crap out of outboxers like us? He's like, the challenger just gets faster and faster. While the champion's rhythm stays the same he advances slowly all right another chapter down let's keep it rolling he advances slowly but he's fast he doesn't stop doesn't stop at all the champions enclosed in a classic outboxer circle the challenger keeps his distance and stays outside the champion's reach what is this? The third, the tortoise in the air, trying to corner him with the with the speeds useless. Pick up the tempo, Makarochi. When you circle them from that distance, it's easy to keep an eye on your opponent. For an outboxer, 
something like this is ideal. Is that circle? No, wait. From way up here, you can see it clearly. Look closely at his orbit. The circle's orbit, every time that senpai steps forward, the path becomes distorted. He's fast and good at keeping me out of hitting range, says Ippo, but just a little more. They're like, ha! Huh? Yo. Yo, Ippo is a fucking master, bro. Like, how did he get this good? And why is he so focused in this match, my guy? Yo. It's like, he got me. What the? When did he corner him? He got him just by walking. It was like, and Takamura says he was shaving away at it. The space he could escape to, as long as he maintained that same distance, was shaved down by taking advantage of the orthodox outboxer's tendency to circle left. Everyone wants to avoid a head-on fight against an infighter with destructive power. He fought plenty of opponents who have had that mindset, and he's experienced it sparring with you too as well. Ippo is completely used to it by now, fighting against outboxers that is, and if he knows how to close in on him, then he doesn't have to risk it all by jumping into the thick of it. But still, will that work? He's barely thrown any punches. How can he control his opponent so thoroughly? It's like, he isn't a genius boxer who works based off instinct or inspiration either, but his experience with strong opponents has given him something comparable. Comparable to them? Insight. That's that's actually pretty pretty dope because he learns by doing. You get what I'm saying? Pretty much what insight is. It, it, you know what I'm saying? It, learn by doing, by watching other people practicing, doing all of this stuff. He, You get what I'm saying? He gets used to it. So it's like ha having insight into something is to see somebody else do something and you can basically mimic it or know how to defend against it. You get what I'm saying? By practicing, doing it, uh, and you know what I'm saying, and putting it into action. So what is it? So it looks like Kamigawa is still talking. He's like, what does the opponent want to try next? What will he do? And it's particularly effective against outboxers since he's attuned to fighting them. The more high level they are and the more they stick to basics, the more effective it becomes. Kurosawa is an advanced, well-rounded boxer. It's only natural that the kid could predict his movements. So he took that focused, heavy stance so that his speed wouldn't confuse him, right? That low stance has to put an incredible amount of pressure onto his opponent. I'm sure from where he's standing, it must look like a missile in a silo that's ready to fire. <laughs> Perfect description. It's like, here he comes. He looks ready to fire the big guns. Should I run? Or do I attack first? The champion begins to weave his upper body in a figure eight. Could this be? Dempsey? Karasawa? is like, I'm ready for this. Right here. He jumped back. Karasawa's Dempsey countermeasure is, it's the same as Saramura. It's a counter. He sways quickly from left to right, attacking from the blind spots. But if I get a little distance, I'll see his whole body coming, and he becomes the perfect prey for a counter. Let's do this, Makanochi. Left, right, where are you coming from? Where is he? <laughs> I'm still right in front of you, homie. Oh, he isn't here. He's nowhere. Not from the left or the right. What the hell? What are they saying? Bro, where is he? For Yo. Bruh, he's like from below. He's not using a Dempsey roll. There's no way I can dodge this. Makarochi's fist will feel like a feather against this. I can probably only take on five, maybe six shots. 
I'll use my footwork the whole entire time and keep racking up the points. If I can survive, if I stay standing until the very end, it'll be my win. Oh, that's what you thought. You thought you could take five or six punches from, from Ippo. <laughs> you can't, bro. You can't. I'm telling you, you can't. It's like, here it comes now. Just hold your breath and grit your teeth. You have to pull through, endure it, and hang in there. Bruh. Ippo needs to stop folding these niggas, bro. <laughs> like, yo. Yo. Ippo is folding these fools, man. Yo, bruh. I would not want to get punched by this guy. I would never want to get punched by this guy, bro. Look at this, man. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, my guy. What? Where is the anime? They need to bring the anime, Batman. We need to see this in animation, bro. It po Yo, bro. You... You really think that you could take, you just got hit. You really, you just got hit one time. You just got hit one time. And you felt like you, you like your whole side disappeared. And you are out here talking about, oh, oh, I could take five or six punches. <laughs> yeah, right. Feel, yo, look at this, bro. Look at this. He's like, uh, I built it up so much. But still, my stomach couldn't take it. And you're like, Karasawa, are you going to keep standing? He's like, not yet. I'm not going to fall down yet. This is my first title match. A sense of accomplishment, a sense of completion, a sense of this invincible champion's true power. I haven't even tasted any of these things yet. He's like, I can't believe this. His footwork was grounded after just one punch. It's like, I learned that the hard way as well, that this body blow isn't like most, where the effects take place later on. One is all that it takes for you to lose control of your limbs. <laughs> it's like, completely. <laughs> he's like, he's like, so Kamigawa is in the corner, Is like, he's completely caught him. Oh my God, man. Ippo needs to, yo, I feel like one day Ippo is going to kill somebody by mistake, bro. <laughs> like, yo, this dude hit, dude, he hit people too hard. He hit him too hard, bro. It's like he's completely caught him. <sighs> this nigga's still hanging on the ropes, huh? He's like, he's in my grasp. He's within my range. He, he's caught him. The body blow's hurting him. He won't be able to run away. Kick his ass. Beat him up. Beat him up. Makarauchi. The hall erupts with calls for Makarauchi. As the challenger remains huddled over from that body blow. What will happen? Will the, ch will the challenger escape from his cage? Or will the king's cannons explode violently? It's not over yet. I haven't tasted anything yet. At the very least, I've got to make the champ give it his all. Don't underestimate me and hold back the Dempsey roll. It's not over yet. I'm going in. He's coming for you. Get out of the corner now. So Ippo gets in there. I couldn't follow up my attack in the first round because he clinched. If he gets away this time, I might not get another chance at this. What a surprise. He shows restraint in his attack. The champion keeps him cornered using a barrage of small fast blows. Bastard, hitting me with all of these compact shots. I have to keep both arms up to cover myself. He can't, he can't clinch. <laughs> it's like, what a careful, precise attack. Staying faithful to the basics and using them to win decisively. Kamagawa is like, that's right, use the basics. Big punches won't do any good here. He's like, damn it. If he just take a big swing, it'll be easy to get out of there. Makanouchi isn't taking any chances out there today. At the rate this is going, being hit with a Dempsey roll would probably be easier. <laughs> it's like, it's not like you use light, it's not like you to use light punches. Don't act like you're above it. Bring out your finishing blow. Bring out the Dempsey roll. I'll turn everything around in an instant with my counter. He's sticking with the basics. He isn't bringing out his big guns at all. He isn't taking any risks today. He's like, I'll be okay. I believe in this. I've practiced so hard for this. Still, still not bringing it out. I was like, ah, look at Karasawa's body. 
He He's really getting drilled, you think? He's getting drilled right into the corner pose. It's like the log driving. <laughs> it's like, what? What training? It's like, and Kamagai is like, that training it is finally bearing fruit. Believing in your training, kid, and yourself. You drove those logs in count. You drove those logs in countless times. Still not. Just believing in it. Karasara, get out of the corner. You're not going to get a chance to counter. Lazana, he, Hakanoji, the Dempsey roll, he isn't going to use it. Go back to the beginning and build on the basics. Risking it all can only bring you continued victory at the national level. You need to learn how to methodically corner someone, weaken them, and finish them off, which is very, which is very true. You can't go to um, international level or, you know what I'm saying, like what Takamura is doing now, become world champ like on the national level you can risk it all is what kamigawa is saying but when you get to the big leagues you gotta throw you gotta go back to the basics and learn how to box you know what i'm saying so i'm glad that ippo is getting this lesson so so kamigawa is like show me your evolution and ippo is like i believe it I can fight without relying on the dempsey role which is was the whole purpose of this whole thing which is very good Yes, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Last chapter for this break. Okay, so I believe it. I can fight without relying on the Dempsey roll. And the barrage of punches continues. They may be small, but they're still strong and heavy. The challenger can't escape. He's being flattened into the corner pose. The final counterattack. With just two small punches, what power? Don't let him get away. Yeah, he's at your mercy. Get out of there, Kawasawa. You can't fight from the corner. Every hit is so fucking heavy. I can't even move. It's like, go for it, Ippo. This is your big chance. Ippo is driving those logs, bruh. Woo. Bruh. Who is that? Yo, Ippo, yo, I can't, <laughs> every time I see this, every time I see this, you know, I, f I'm feeling it for, for, for Karasawa, like, I'm feeling it, I feel it, like, my gut, I'm feeling it for him, man, oh, my God, he got folded again, he's like, he's fainting into agony, and all inspiring punches pierce the stomach, strong, He's just too damn strong. And you're still up. I'm surprised you're still up. He's like, aren't you scared? Aren't you scared, Takusokun? It's like, just like a kid worrying like that. It's like, Karasa! Our future will definitely be brighter. For the gym that I love so much, and for my coach, I will keep on fighting, and I will win. It's like, lift your head up. You've got to watch out. He's in front of you. Fire off your left and get away. Move around. Get out of that corner. And he gets up. He's like, oh. It's like, whoa. He's not going down. He's still going to fight. He's got a lot of spirit. Well, he does. He's like, this time. They're like, not good. Using a left hook as an opportunity to switch positions is one of the textbook principles of outboxing. Look out, senpai. It's your turn to be on the ropes. Ippo sees the punch coming. Is he going to dodge? Bro, what did Ippo do? What did he do? You miss, homie. <laughs> you missed. You missed. <laughs> you missed. Ippo dodges the punch. And I know he done. Oh, my god hippo if this doesn't put him on the ground i don't know what will hippo hippo is growing in front of my eyes and i'm so proud of this dude man i am absolutely proud of him right now like uh, on, a, on another level man absolutely proud of him let's get to the next chapter 
This fight is is unbelievable. Look at him, bro. Ippo dodges the punch. Uh it's like light and darkness in the ring. That is the title of this chapter. We're at 590. We started at what? 579, I think. Yo, Ippo is Ippo knocks him. Is he still not gonna go down? Bruh, his mouthpiece is out. He's about to fall out of the ring. Everybody is, the crowd is like, the crowd is like, thought he was going to fall out of the ring. His mouthpiece is out. His mouthpiece is out of the ring. He's still up. He caught the rope. He didn't fall. He's like, I love this gym so very much. And I know the coach is expecting big things from me. That's why I wanted to do this. That's why I keep on fighting. Nah, bruh. He's, yo, dude was about to throw in the towel and they stopped him. Why would you stop it? It's like, our future will be brighter. He's like, definitely, yo. It's brutal, man. It's brutal, man. I feel, I feel literally, I feel sorry for this dude. Like, I really do. You, you, you mess with, you went into the ring against a fighter that a, a focused Ippo is not an Ippo to be fucked with. Like, let, <laughs> let's just put it into context, like what it is, because this dude is reminding me now of Takamura, because Takamura is, is the very same kind of fight, like, that's the type of fighter that Takamura is when he's, when he's into the ring with a fighter that's, nobody you know what i'm saying like when he is focused <sighs> this is the first fight that it was fight that i have to say yo he went into the ring to prove something the first time he didn't get battered before he won you know what i'm saying first look at the guy dude looking like yamcha <laughs> Yo, bro. Ah, oh. it's like he rolled over twice. That dumb was like watching a train wreck. It's like just like that, the ref deems him unfit to continue with the fight, and he crosses his arms, signaling to one and all that this match is over. The champion clinches his fist with pride. It's a small gut pose from the victor. And they come into the ring. Yo, bruh. It was a match that everyone said would be surefire win. But he put that pressure aside and did very well for himself. Winning without the damn zero. Let's do one more chapter. Let's wrap up, you know, the after the after fight stuff and then we'll finish up for this one okay so all right let's see how um i don't want to stop the recording right now but i am going to so let's take a break i don't know how long the next one is going to be it's probably going to be short but whatever i just don't want this to go too much where it takes too long to render out um come on all right let's jump into it new chapter which after we on. So <clears throat> the time for this two round KO was two minutes and 15 seconds. This marks the champion's six successful title defense, like seal on the finishing blow. You did it, Ippokun. You really did it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Even though it felt like a long match, you won really easily. Not really. I'm worn out. It was a very tiring match. Karsarasan had overwhelming speed. I let lots of chances get away. I just kept on telling myself, don't rush it, don't be hasty. I'm like, ha. Huh. Kamagawa gets in the ring and grabs his arm. He's like, ow. Oh. He's like, that left certainly was your focus for this match. He's like, how? how? How did I do? Today, in this place, you did a good job. Don't get all cocky, though. <laughs> I only said that you did good for today. 
It's like, yes, sir. Thank you very much. They all clapping. Okay. It's like, and the challenger withdraws. Met with applause as he leaves the ring. He boldly challenged the champ's devastatingly destructive power. And he truly deserves this praise. Karasara seems to be okay. Man, I thought he was going to die too. <laughs> He's like, I'm shocked. Okay, I don't know. My mom's calling me. So, all right, guys. Sorry about that. Anytime mommy calls, you got to answer. Else you will hear about it later. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. You know what it is. <laughs> don't play. It was like, okay. So, Karasara seems to be okay. Man, I thought he was going to die too. And Itagaki says, I'm shocked. Yeah, that was such an awesome down. He's like, no. What shocked me was the process leading to the down. When he cornered him against the ropes, it's typical outboxer theory to throw a left hook and escape by switching places. And so, he aimed for it. Itagaki, what would you do in that situation? I'd have definitely thrown my left too. Is there like, yeah, right. Me too. <laughs> There's like meaning that Ippo was able to throw that kind of punch because he's been nailed by that counter many times before from the two of us. This all has turned out just as Takamura said that it would. <laughs> well, somehow it just seemed like he'd do that, <laughs> right? It's like, but it's still not enough. The old man won't be satisfied with just that. Neither will Ippo. Well, if this doesn't satisfy either of them, as his sparring partners, we're in for some trouble. And judging from today's match, it looks like he's going to become an anti-outboxer specialist, which is going to be perfect for him because we're still waiting on the Miata versus Ippo, the real deal, the real fight. We're still waiting on that. I don't know when it's going to happen, but you know that's the ultimate goal. It's kind of like waiting on naruto and sasuke to fight again <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it's out of necessity that this guy needs to become such a specialist necessity ha ah. that's right it doesn't really feel like it's over i don't remember very much after i threw that left <laughs> Bruh got knocked, in, knocked into next week bro but i do recall what i saw when i opened my eyes there was the ceiling, the coach was there, and Sanada-san was there too. Two rounds, I lasted only two rounds. How pathetic. It's like, that's not true. You did really well. Nigga, you ain't last no damn t two rounds. You lasted one and three quarters. <laughs> I'm not even giving you the credit of you lasted two rounds. You didn't last the whole second round, so it's not two rounds. It's like, it's like I'm pathetic. He sealed away his finishing blow. And yet I still lost. The full force of the champion's power. I wanted to draw it out. But I couldn't even make him use the Dempsey roll. I don't think he went easy on you. From my experience. I know he's not that kind of man. Well we know. We know. Ippo had a different goal. Bro. The Dempsey roll is a very risky move. And the man you face today. Chose not to rely on that type of strategy. In order to win this fight. And continue winning his future fights. He did his best to gradually build it all up. At least that's how it seemed to me. And I rela realized something. What we saw today was the boxer Makana Uchiipo showing us his true form. Ah! That's what I'm talking about. It's like his true form. It's like in a sense you were fighting against the most dangerous part of Makana Uchi today. I can still feel it, that body blow. It exceeded all of my expectations. I can take a lot of punishment, but I couldn't take the genuine article. It's not fair to have such destructive power. However, it seems like an injustice to the sport. Once I felt it, I finally realized that it's just how things are. People who have things like that are the ones who keep moving higher. And above me is a world where people who possess seemingly unfair tools like that live that's right i came to the same realization and chose to withdraw from the world <laughs> of boxing karasawa the towel you didn't throw it in right huh it's like yes yeah, sorry about that it was my duty to watch out for your health 
and to save my boxer. But you did save me. The match wasn't stopped by another person's hand. That would have been the most pathetic outcome I could have I could have suffered. Since it was settled on my own terms, I can get my feelings in order and start things over again. My feelings were saved. Please guide me again from the very beginning. I realized something else as well. The decision to seal away his special technique. It wasn't done just in anticipation of his future opponents. It's also a challenge to the people above him. But once that seal is lifted, just like the path that the Dempsey Rose follows, I'll look forward to seeing your infinite potential explode another time. <laughs> it's like, good going, Makarochi. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That was awesome. You really kicked his ass. When the hell is your next match? You're gonna, who are you going to fight? I'd buy a ticket to see that. We're probably getting closer to unmasking his true potential. It's like, thank you very much. Thank you all very much. Really, thank you very much. Get a move on, kid. <laughs> oh, God. He's like, yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. So that's the wrap up, guys. Okay, this one didn't last that long. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, um, short chapters for the fight. Of course, we ran through those pretty quickly. But this fight, oh my god. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Guys, I'm going to be doing a review. So all of you guys that are watching on Patreon, you see that review come out. I might, I don't know if I'm going to add add the review to the um or might i might just do it let's just do the review right here so you guys get to see it so you don't have to worry about going over to youtube and watching the review uh well i, I mean sometimes to give you the reason to go over there and support just go over to the youtube video and leave a like guys it's not that big a deal because there are people who just watch it for what you know watch it listen to it like a podcast of me reading so that's the reason why i really you know, leave the review over there. So just in case you guys want to hear what I had to say at the end, you can go there because we usually leave a timestamp. Shout out to Layden, of course. So, um, so yeah, man. Um, so what I'm going to do, I was going to do it here, but I decided let, let's just go over to YouTube and do it. All right. So to all of you guys that are, that keep supporting on Patreon that are watching this on Patreon, I know it's not a lot of you. I know it's not a lot of you guys, but you know, you know, all the money you're contributing over there, I, I'm very thankful and grateful for it. As always, man, you guys are awesome. So I will see you guys on YouTube. This was the best read-through that I've done for Ippo so far. Um, the best fight. I think this is the first time we see him fight, right? Since we, I've been doing the read-throughs. I think this is the first time we've had an Ippo fight. And it was off the chain. It was good. It was the first time I see Ippo dominate so much. So I'm going to go do the, the, the review. And, man... I'll see you guys over there if you decide to go over there and check it out. All right, guys. So, yeah, man, that was, I have to say, that is one of the best read-throughs that I've ever done on this channel. Um, You know, that I've enjoyed so much, I have to say. Like, I've enjoyed it very much. Very thoroughly, I enjoyed that, no doubt about it. Um, I said one of the best because there's also one that I did for Berserk that I really, really love. And now I'm getting into this other um, thing that's that's I mean exclusive to Patreon because it was suggested over there. Um, Pumpkin Scissors, which I'm getting into. I've only done two chapters already. So if you guys want to check that out, you know it's over there. You can just join the five dollar tier. Um, and you're and you'll have access to it. It's not that big a deal. So but it's, it's up to you guys Maybe later on down the line. I might release it on YouTube, but for now It's a, um, a patreon exclusive because it was suggested from someone over there And it was just that that one person that suggested it so you know what I'm saying I don't know I've never really heard of it before and I was saying it's not that popular anyway So you know what I'm saying if it is popular I'd never heard of it. So um, but it's really cool, man. The first two chapters were awesome. So a little bit of plug there, little plug, little plug, just a little plug. <laughs> if you want to go over there and check out pumpkin scissors, if you're a fan and you're, and you're watching this, um, you can go over there and, and, and take care of that. Cause I never really said anything about it on YouTube or anything. I just did it. Um, so yeah. So Ippo, man, I don't know how many chapters I just did. I think I did maybe 12 or 13 chapters. 
if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think I started at 578, I mean 579, and we ended up at 591. So that's about, see, I want to say, yeah, about 13, no, 12, right? About 12 chapters, I think, um, if my math is right. But that was pretty cool, man. That was one of the best fights, animated or not, best fights in Ippo. I would have loved to see that animated. I even cried out for it during the read-through because I was like, man, I would love to see this fight in, anim in animated form. It would be awesome, and I know Madhouse would totally blow us away with with um how Ippo dominated that fight it is it it's just ridiculous that this guy actually thought that he could take five six of 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 Ippo's body blows this dude really do need some milk he also needs some brain cells because i don't know who was was telling this guy that he could take um Ippo's punches like that like oh i can survive six of his punches i'm gonna build muscles where muscles aren't supposed to be <laughs> you know and just dive right in and be like oh i'm gonna take this one it's coming i f i know i can't do nothing but i'm gonna take it bruh ippo folded this dude like three times in in the match and i'm serious i felt the punch that's how vivid the drawing was and then at one point at one point during the fight right at one point during the fight we saw um the first time he got hit he felt like his side disappeared like at one point i was like oh did he <laughs> you know what i'm saying because you know how in in animation wise like that's how he's feeling you get what i'm saying you know what i mean like he felt like his side wasn't even there like he tore it off with the punch like you cannot take and those are not even it's not even him taking a, a um a liver like a liver punch because if it was like if he was it was just a body blow because if he was a liver punch he would have been down there's no way you can't get no liver punch that hard you know what i'm saying um all right so after a long <laughs> necessary conversation with my mother i am back yeah my mom she loves to do um what do you call those visits <laughs> you know those drop buys you know what i'm saying she calls me prior prior like she's like two minutes down the street she's like i'm coming to drop this off be outside <laughs> yeah but anyways man this i don't even remember my thought process right now but this was awesome um this fight was really good and as i said one of the best that I've read in manga. So the, the 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 drawings were beautiful. They did a great job of showing the details and and this is the first time we've seen the savagery of what Ippo can do. Ippo did not use the Dempsey roll and he folded this guy. He rolled over twice when he got hit by that punch. Still tried to hang on to the ropes. But the momentum he was going back with, still, G guys, do you know how hard you have to get punched for you to roll over twice? I don't think you understand. Plus, you were it's like falling and trying to grab everything you can on the way down and can't grab nothing because you are falling so fast. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You can't grip anything. You get what I'm saying? Because your momentum is going so fast. He hit the guy so hard. He rolled over twice. When he fell on the ground, he looked like he was dead. Like, you, it was a sore sight. It was not a nice sight to see a fighter in. And I've seen that in real life before where somebody spazzes out. Or, I don't know if you've ever seen somebody get knocked out so hard. Like, they just, they're stiff. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're stiff and they're shaking like they're having a seizure. Like, I've seen that before. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've seen people get knocked knocked out so hard. Like, it's bad, man. I remember that one guy in the UFC. It happened um, this year. Um, one guy in the UFC, like, he got knocked out literally two seconds after the, the bell rung. He just ran into a knee. <laughs> he just ran into a knee, bro. And he was 
out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he did not expect that, you know what I'm saying, um, to get knocked out so fast. I think it's recorded as the fastest knockout in UFC history today. So, um, it, it, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. But this was awesome, man. Awesome to react to this. I um, hope you guys didn't mind me taking a little break there from the review. Uh, but when mommy calls, you you better answer. <laughs> you know, you're going to hear it later. So, thank you guys so much, man, for tuning in as always, man. This has been one of the best experiences I've had. You know what I'm saying? Just doing these read-throughs, whether it be Berserk, whether it be Ippo, whether it be Pumpkin Scissors. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just great to sit here and just read. And even though I'm sitting here doing it by myself currently, I know you guys enjoy it because you leave comments and stuff like that so what i challenge you guys to do right now is if you've watched my review let me know in the comment section uh, because i will be doing giveaways coming up very soon for people who watches my videos outright and it's not just um i want you to send me the proof too when i'm doing the giveaways of course but if you watched it don't lie because the only way you're gonna know is if you watch it till the end of the video anyways so you know what i'm saying so if you if you do do that leave it in the comment section okay and your boy will enter you you automatically gets entered into the first read through giveaway that i'm planning to do coming up next year okay so your boy Thank you guys so much. You already know it's the most spectacular read through of all times, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new. There's more to come. More Ippo on the way, man. Peace out. You know what it is.